there's no place like Rome. This is a city where winding streets lead to beautiful temples, pasta gets brought out by the bucket load, and the people watching opportunities never end. It's one of the most famous cities in the world for a reason, but you can't fully understand its magic until you've been there in person. In this video, we're going to show you top 10 things to do in Rome, Italy. Before we start the video, please like and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Let's start the video. Number 10. Pantheon The Pantheon is one of the best preserved buildings from ancient times. Its dome, measuring 142 feet in diameter, is the largest in the whole world. This is a must-see in Rome, and if you're heading to the city during Pentecost weekend, you're in for a treat. During Sunday Mass, tons of rose petals get dropped from the oculus to mark the occasion, and the sight is really something. At the time of publishing, May 2023, the Pantheon is free to enter, but there are plans to charge a 5 euros entry fee for visitors. Advanced booking is required on weekends and holidays. Number 9. Colosseum Of course, if you're in Rome, you have to see the Colosseum. This magnificent building is Rome's shining glory. You know, the kind of stuff you see on postcards, and it's even better in person than you can imagine. Built between 72 to 80 AD, it is the largest amphitheater in the world and could hold up to 80,000 people. Local Romans used to come to see violent gladiator battles or animal hunts, but now it's a lot more peaceful. We recommend buying tickets in advance, as the queues here can be crazy. But it is 100% worth it once you get to the fifth level for that 360-degree view over the theater. Number 8. Musei Vaticani and Capella Sistina The Vatican Museum's house one of the largest and most important art collections in the world and is set across 54 galleries, courtyards, and hallways. You'll find thousands of ancient sculptures, works by Raphael and, of course, Michelangelo's frescoes in the Sistine Chapel. If you have time and plan well in advance, book tickets to descend into the Vatican Necropolis, located beneath Street Peter's Basilica, and the Vatican Gardens filled with fountains, flora, and a replica of the grotto devoted to Our Lady of Lourdes. Number 7. Castel Sant'Angelo Castel Sant'Angelo, the Castle of Angels, is an eye-catching cylindrical fortification built on the banks of the Tiber River by Roman Emperor Hadrian in the 2nd century AD. Originally commissioned as a mausoleum for Hadrian and his family, it was later used as a fortress and castle by the popes. It even includes a secret escape passageway that links the structure to the Vatican City. Today, it is a museum with frescoed rooms, a collection of medieval weaponry, and sweeping views of the city of Rome, and nearby is St. Peter's Basilica. There's a little cafe inside, where you can enjoy snacks or a drink with a view of the Vatican. Number 6. Janicolo Fondly referred to as the City of Seven Hills, Rome is known for its scenic vantage points and numerous terraces that give way to stunning views of the city skyline. Located above the Trastevere neighborhood, Janicolo isn't technically one of the fabled hills, but it is worth the trek because it's the highest point in Rome and offers an expansive vista over the Eternal City. The elegant Fontana dell'Acqua Paola, a fountain featured in the opening scene of La Grande Belleza, is located just nearby, and its majesty will surely take your breath away. Number 5. Mercato Testaccio Rome's culinary traditions are rooted in the Testaccio neighborhood, making it an essential stop for gourmands and intrepid diners. The area once housed the largest slaughterhouse in Europe, and employees were usually paid in leftover animal parts, affectionately referred to as the Quinto Quarto or Fifth Quarter. One of the best places to sample Rome's diverse cuisine and excellent street food is at the Testaccio Market, a luminous and contemporary building filled with tantalizing stands that serve everything from artichoke sandwiches and tripe stews to freshly cooked pasta and craft beers. Number 4. Opera House Built at the end of the 19th century, the Teatro dell'Opera is a neoclassical opera house boasting around 200 performances each year. From opera and ballet to contemporary dance, the Opera House has collaborated with several celebrity directors and fashion houses, including Sofia Coppola, Valentino, and Dior, to create innovative shows. In the summer months, performances are held al fresco in the evocative term di Caracalla, Baths of Caracalla, 
an enormous archaeological complex built between 213 to 216 aid that was home to an open-air pool, saunas, a library, shops, and more. Number 3. Oropesis Although ancient architecture reigns supreme, Rome is increasingly recognized for its newer structures that have created a vivid juxtaposition between the old and the new. One of the most spectacular examples is the Museo del Oropesis, designed by American architect Richard Meyer. The 2,000-year-old altar, dedicated to Pax, the goddess of peace, has been enclosed in a monumental glass structure, creating a unique display in the city center. The museum also hosts rotating art exhibitions and a virtual reality tour that includes 3D binoculars. Number 2. Complesso del Vittoriano It is worth climbing to the top of the wedding cake not only to appreciate the enormity of the structure, but also to see the Art Nouveau mosaics in the colonnade. And most importantly, to enjoy the view from the only place where you can see the whole city center, without the panorama being interrupted by the Vittoriano itself. Even more impressive is the view from the very top level of the monument, reached by a glass elevator accessed from behind the structure. By the side of the Ericoli Church, and while it has had a mixed reception from tourists and locals alike, it is one of Rome's must-sees. Number 1. Galleria Colonna Galleria Colonna is one of the oldest and largest private palaces in Rome and one of the city's best-kept secrets. Originally built as a fortress for the Colonna family, it was turned into a Baroque residence over time and now hosts a world-class art collection with masterpieces by Caracci, Tintoretto, and Gersino. Step inside to discover the Great Hall, an enormous mirrored gallery lined with statues, paintings, and chandeliers on par with the beauty of her sails. Galleria Colonna is open every Saturday. Be sure to visit Princess Isabel's apartment and the Secret Garden. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.